hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on this is fate stay tuned on today's episode Nidhi tells him that she went Putin. She had seen Karan's body. His face was severely damaged. She didn't know how he looked when she had to give him a face. Then she had chosen his boyfriend's face for Arjun. That she was already married to her boyfriend and gradually she fell in love with Arjun. And Charlie tells Nidhi has done a lot for Arjun but he cheated on her. She calls him a big cheat. That Arjun knew that Nidhi is possessive about him, but he cheated her. He provokes Nidhi. Nidhi stops Anjali and tells it's Arjun's birthday, so she shall give him a gift. Anjali asks Nidhi to gift them shell so that it helps them stay warm on the roads. Nidhi asks her to get quiet. She gives a foul to Arjun and wishes him a happy birthday. Karan stands to check the document. He gets a huge surprise just learning that she has returned all his properties and business. Wow. He asks Nidhi, does she realize what she gifted him? Nidhi tells she has returned everything that belonged to him. The Lutras get a wide smile on their faces. Nidhi apologizes to Preta that she has given her boyfriend's face to Karan. Anjali asks why she is sparing Arjun. Nidhi tells it's her fault to love Arjun. He never belonged to her and she gave him someone else's identity. She accepts that she was possessive of Karan but he isn't her Arjun. He is Karan Lutra who belongs to the Lutras. She apologizes to Karan for creating so much confusion in his life. Karan thanks her for returning her house and family to him. He is grateful. He asks her to take back the factory and shares. She tells it to bet the gift and she won't take it back from her friend. That they will always be good friends. Karan thanks her. Nidhi tells she isn't a cheater like Anjali. She asks him to cut the cake. Anjali gets angered at her plan failed. Karan cuts the cake, celebrates his birthday with his family. Nidhi is happy for him and asks Peter to keep Karan safe. Bishop thanks Nidhi. She doubles their joy. He makes a leave. Anjali is left with no option. Goes to question Nidhi and asks why she did this. Nidhi asks her to go to her car. She doesn't listen to Anjali. Karan reaches there and finds Anjali losing her mind. She asks why he lost her life. He tells he didn't do anything but she had attempted to ruin his life. He tells he will always love Prita. Prita comes after them. Anjali lectures Prita. She accuses Prita of snatching her agent, that she will return this pain to Prita and challenges Prita that she would snatch her happiness. She wants to ruin Prita's life and joy. Karan calls it enough and tells Anjali can't harm Prita. Anjali tells she loved Arjun a lot and she won't forgive him if he hinders her motive. Prita asks her to learn something from her sister. She asks Anjali to stop chasing Karan, that Karan is in her Kudali bag here and he will be with her forever. Anjali tells she will not let Prita live in peace. Anjali and Nidhi come home. She asks Nidhi why she reacts and snatch everything from Arjun. She didn't. She shouts that Nidhi has acted like a book fool. She thought Nidhi is super smart and she would not forgive Arjun. That she had given an open challenge to Lutras that Nidhi will ruin them. That Arjun has behaved badly with her because of Peter. Nidhi asks her to stop it. That she meant every word she spoke at the Lutra house. She explains that it was her mistake to give her husband's face to Arjun. She asks Anjali how she fell in love with Arjun after knowing that she loved him. Anjali tells she fell in love because of his goodness. Nidhi tells she loved him when he didn't belong to anyone. He was just of her. Anjali tells she tried to stop his marriage. Nidhi scolds her for attempting to trick Arjun and marry him. She feels mad to trust her and send her with Arjun. She asks Anjali how she could try to trap Arjun when he moved on. Then he deserves to go to his family. She sacrificed her love for his happiness that she cares a lot for Arjun. She asks Anjali to face her first if she has to ruin Arjun. That she loved Arjun, she won't take revenge on him. She respects him and she is happy that he got his love and family. She calls Anjali mad. Anjali angrily goes to slap her. Nidhi stops and warns her and tells she is good with the good and bad with the bad. Anjali calls her bad and hates Nidhi. Nidhi tells Anjali doesn't know the meaning of love. Anjali tells she hates everyone. She walks out of the house. Karan hugs Prita and offers her to help. She tells she would manage her work. She doesn't want any help and asks him to get away. He asks if she feels anything when he comes close. She denies it. He tells he's her husband and has the right to come close. He asks for a kiss. She tells she had kissed him already. He doesn't think it was a kiss. She tells she has fulfilled the promise already and makes him away and leaves him upset. He tells them he loves her, but he would beg her to love him. She asks him if he doesn't want a kiss now. He asks her not to joke. She teases him saying it's not good to kiss when the husband is upset. He tells it's not true. He wants a kiss. They get a close moment. Kavya comes with the elders. Karan makes an excuse to cover up his romantic act. Raki and Karina laugh at them. They also pull his leg. Kavya tells she would sleep in her parents' room. Karan asks if she wants to sleep even today. Raki and Karina find him troubled and try to take Kavya with them. 
Karan tells it's okay. He has missed Kavya's entire childhood and he wants to spend moments with Kavya and play with her. Karan gets playing with Kavya. They have a happy family moment. On the other hand, Anjali recalls the time when Arjun confessed his love for Peter. She loves Arjun. She wants to love him to love her too. She feels humiliated by Karan, Peter, Nidhi. She never expected Nidhi to turn away. That everyone hates her, even Arjun hates her. And it's all because of Peter. That Peter has snatched her Arjun and made him Karan. She feels her fate has been unfair. She sees a speeding truck. She goes crazy to drive towards the truck with an intention to suicide. She wants to end her life. Anjali car comes in front of the truck. She intentionally drives in front, meets with an accident. The people gather on scene the deadly accident. Someone picks up Anjali's phone, calls Nidhi. Nidhi receives a shock. Anjali is seen in the ICU at some hospital. Nidhi reaches there and rushes to see her. She asks the doctor about Anjali's condition. He tells Anjali is critical. Nidhi breaks down seeing her. She regrets her harsh words spoken to her. Lutra family gets some peace. Maish asks Risha and Sami what they are doing and they secretly eating sweet. He tells he also wants to have sweets, that the sweets box is missing in the kitchen. So he has come to see if they got the boss. Risha asks him to forget the sweet, discusses a serious matter, shows the farmhouse footage, tells the couple had worn exact clothes like Peter and him, which means Karan's mother was planned. He wants to know who was that evil couple, that he wants to protect Karan and the evil people will try to harm Karan again. Mahesh agrees. He asks Rishab to hire Abimayu to solve this case. The next morning, Rocky tells Peter that she would cook breakfast for Mahesh. Peter asks her to go out and relax. She would manage everything that she would do it alone. Karan reaches there to spend time with her, finds Rocky and Karina there, tells he would have breakfast with them. Karina pulls his ears and asks him not to act naughty. He tells him he missed Karina's scolding and Rocky's love and also Peter.